All six engines of the ship are lit. All 13 for the booster, for the boost back. This is the important part. The boost back burn is going to last for, I think, about 30 seconds or so. It has to kill all of that forward velocity right. and to get all the way back. Now, the good thing is, is the engine that was out is one of the 20 outer rings. So the ones that are most important for now for the boost back and for the landing burn are those center 13. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. And a part of that is not only because of the thrust, but also those are the ones that can gimbal and provide that steering capability. Really great views coming from the SpaceX feed, looking at the Starship continuing to go on its trajectory and also the booster. You'll notice that their altitudes are both above the Kármán line. So that means both of them are now technically into space. The booster uh, should have its uh, shutdown around, I think, 106 kilometers. There you go. So all of them have shut down. It looked to me uh, like it was a normal shutdown. The altitude is going to continue to increase a little bit. We're going to see the speed decrease. It's kind of like a rock now that is just on a parabolic trajectory. It'll go up and it will start coming back down. The hot stage ring has now been jettisoned. This is the first time we've seen that. Uh, wow. This is intentional. This is for them to reduce the mass of the ship. Also, it is to, in my opinion, to help with the center of gravity, center of pressure. Uh, for the controllability later on in the, uh, the trajectory. Uh, and the speed is continuing to, now it is increasing, so it has hit apogee and it's on its way down for the booster. The ship is continuing to accelerate. And so, so far that is looking good. All of the engines that are should be on are on and all the engines that are off are should be off. Uh, so now this get in, gets into what I'm looking for. Right. Um, you know, uh, it's going to start getting below the Kármán line, which is uh, important. It means it's now back in our atmosphere, but it really won't start feeling the effects of the atmosphere until it gets deeper. Uh, probably around the 50 kilometer point is where you start getting some, and that's where we'll see the grid fins working. And so far, is this pretty similar to what we saw for Flight 3, or is there anything other than that one engine? So far, it's pretty good. Um, maybe a couple of kilometers higher on the return part of the boost back but that's to be expected because they had all the engines light the entire time so uh that the uh hot stage ring is off which is cool you might ask what happens to the hot stage ring it's just basically on a free return probably burn up some in the atmosphere and then it will impact into that restricted zone in the gulf uh so so far so good we're at 75 kilometers you can see the speed is really increasing now um as I mentioned, I'm expecting about 50 kilometers. We'll see the grid fins work for the first time. That's when it starts getting that uh, ability to control the ship. And uh, I really want to see at 50 kilometers the speed around 4,000 kilometers per hour, not much more than that. And then we need to start seeing it having a controlled slowdown. And we have over. So really good views here. There's the speed. We're actually below what I was expecting for 40, uh, for 50. At 40, it should be no more than 4,300, and we are below that. So I think that's a good sign so far. Uh, we're getting some good views also from the top of the booster, it looks like. And uh, we're almost seven minutes in, and that's around the time you said we need to be. Correct. So we're at 20 kilometers. This is where it started having instability last time. The speed really needs to bleed off now. At 10 kilometers, it needs to be somewhere around uh, 2,500 or so. It's a little bit more than that, but let's see what happens. It's all going to be onto the burn, the relight. That should be happening very soon. Uh, right about now, they should, on, if they can, work. relight the engines. Please work. Please work. Please it's work. It's going very, very fast. See the grid fins. Um, I think it's okay. They got the engines, but I think it's too late. I think it's going to. Uh, well, let's see. Actually, zero kilometers, we're at 130 kilometers an hour. We're above the water. There's the splashdown. We actually see it. Uh, <laughs> this is incredible. I think, and we should see the booster start tipping over into the water. I think that was, that was pretty successful. We hear cheering. I think that's about what we wanted to see. And you see how the speed profile was pretty close to what I was saying. That's why I did that analysis. I think that is, at least from what I can see just on the live stream, sitting here on the wow. roof, I think that was outstanding. Now, let's see what the ship is doing. 